So final progression here for your isometrics. Legs are in tabletop, pelvis stays in neutral throughout. You're gonna take both hands to both knees here. You're gonna inhale first, exhale. Create that connection. Feel your abdominals activate even more as your hands press into both knees respectively. Pressing just enough to connect more into that core, not pushing as hard as you can. Hold that press for the entire part of your exhale. Inhale to take that tension off your hands. Exhale to reconnect. Start in tabletop with your core connected. Take your weight kind of about on a 45 degree angle back overhead. You're gonna see how this helps your rib cage and your abdominals connect into place. You're gonna hold your arms long there as you exhale. Reach one leg out on that 45 degree angle. Draw it back in with your breath. Exhale. Inhale to bring the knee back in. Continuing to march throughout. So full side plank progression. Feet are gonna be together and stacked. Elbow directly underneath your shoulder. You're gonna exhale, press the hips up, making sure that you're not over lifting the hips. You want one nice long line all the way here throughout. Also being thoughtful that your rib cage is staying stacked and not rolling forward or backward in the process. So a side plank variation here to work on inner thigh work as well as the opposite oblique. So you're gonna use a bench or a chair at home. Take the top leg, you're gonna bend at your knee, stack it right on top, other leg goes underneath. This wrist is gonna go right underneath my shoulder. You're using your inner thigh and this glute mostly to hold yourself up. So you're gonna work on this nice long progression of your knee to your hip to your shoulder all in one line. Continuously breathing, exhaling, in and out as you hold. Full plank with shoulder taps. Keep your feet hip distance apart. The more narrow your stance, the more challenging this exercise will be. Your hands are gonna be shoulder distance apart. You're gonna exhale as you tap one hand towards that opposite shoulder. Set it back down as you inhale. Exhale to tap to the other side. As you tap, be thoughtful to minimize the amount of sway side to side. If you need to take a wider stance to give you some more support, feel free to do that. As you get stronger, you can walk the feet closer together for an increased challenge. 